Hello everyone, um, this is Johnny. Welcome to my NetSec YouTube channel. Today I'm going to continue my CyberArk installation lab. So today's topic is going to talk about LDAP authentication over SSL. In my previous lab 3.1, I already integrated LDAP with our CyberArk, but it's not over SSL. So this lab going to configure the vault to using LDAP over SSL connections. So we have to have CA server first. You have to install certificate authority service on our server, which is our domain controller server. And then we're going to import our CA root certificates into our Windows trusted root certificate store on the vault server. Let's start. Log in to our PVWA with our world admin user. As you can see, we already configured our LDAP integration. Since I already configured my LDAP integration, um, I have to delete all settings. First thing you need to delete is directories. And then you need to go back to your vault to delete the mapping. You're gonna use in pre private arc client. And then go to tools, administration tools, director mappings. You need to delete those mappings. So we have four mappings. So we just delete all of them. And there's one called group mappings. So to totally five. Eight. Let's delete all of them. We create four, but there's a groups mappings as well. So anyway. So all related mapping is gone. So log off, close. And then we're gonna go back to configuration, set up wizard. So LDAP integration gonna show up again now. Next. So there's a couple of settings, Microsoft AD profile AI, Port number, address, how to bind the user, bind the password, bind the context, name. Um, before we can use um, SSL integration, so we're gonna do a couple of things. We need to set up our CA. So this is our Windows 2012 DC server. So I already installed CA, so, but we're gonna just quickly go through the steps. Um, to install a CA service, you have to start with your server manager. So as you can see, the ADCS, AD certificate authority has been installed. Let's go through steps here. You're gonna add the roles and the features, which are gonna show up plus options, role based uh, feature based installation. Uh, we only have one DC server. So in here, you need to active directory certificate services. You need to choose at least two of them. First, of course, you need to have CA. Second, you need to have CA web enrollment. Don't be confused with those two certificates, certificate enrollment policy web service, certificate enrollment web service, those two, don't be get confused with those two. Those two are folks on auto enrollment for your client. This is more on a manual enrollment setup. So which is our web GUI interface for our say certificate to request a certificate or download certificate. So basically, once you choose those two, you can next, next, next to get everything done 
So basically, after we installed the last certificate authority service, they will show some tasks on top of the server manager window. And then you can configure a task there. Then those tasks will ask you to design your CA type, like enterprise CA or some other standalone CA. Usually, you need to choose enterprise CA and go follow the wizard next step, next step to finish the installation. So after you configure the, those two services, um, basically you can do one thing is uh, you can connect to your web page or service certificate. Then you can request the CA certificate, download the CA, request the certificate, download the CA certificate here. So we can download the CA service to the vault and then install into the vault. So we're gonna connect into our web server using credential for my admin credential. Of course, we're gonna trust it. Download the C certificate. Download the certificate. See. Download folder, copy the certificates. You can go to command line and we can import the certificate, confirm the certificate is useful. We also can do MSC to check this certificate. Pass the root certificate. So that's our root certificate we just imported. So you also can double click and just do install certificate. Calendar user or local machine, doesn't matter and then ultimately select it and then import it. So that's pretty simple. We import a certificate and we want to make sure DNS name is can be resolved. If it's this DNS name cannot be resolved, you need to edit your host file to add at least host name map into this IP. So now we're gonna go come back to LDAP configuration setup steps. Um, we're gonna do the same name, so address. You have to put address, uh, host name full qualified DNS name here because the certificate is signed with this name. We're gonna use a different port. 36 is LDAP over SSL port, the binding user. Administrator. And password, the base context. This is a mirror message field to connect. So now we can log in with the CyberArk authentication method. Since we already removed all LDAP settings, um, you can log in with our built-in administrator user. 
as you can see, LDAP integration come back. Since we delete all settings, it's a new domain. So we're going to be re still same domain, but we're going to use in secure connection SSL, which is a different port than our regular LDAP port 389. This will be 636, port 336, yes. So we're going to use in find the user account, administrator. We're going to use find the user password. We're going to use domain DC equal also DC equal com. That's basic our settings for SSL authentication. Um, it's going to use in a certificate we just imported to the web server. So there's something we need to fix here, something wrong. They cannot connect to domain name binary, username and connect to our domain. Something wrong, probably with the LWS certificate confusion. Couldn't establish a connection to the domain. So what we can do is we can go back to make changes. So we can get rid of this. So you can see it using SSL based encryption is secure connection port 636. And right now, okay, we can, this works fine. But that's what we want. Don't, okay. There's some settings wrong here or either LDAP certificate configuration. This is our PVWA server. I already copied the certificate to the desktop. Um, if you want to take a look, you can find out in our trusted root certificate authorities. There's a no, this certificate layer. That is why it's failed. Once we did this, we're going to install certificate to local machine and we're going to choose our trust loose certificate and import it successfully. After this, double check here again, refresh. Okay, certificate, say certificate has been imported. After imported certificate, say certificate into our PVWA server, which is our PSM and the CPN server as well. So let me just need to do next working now. So we need to choose in port 636. And now we need to define mapping, which we already did before. We just quickly get this done. So mapping and then save configuration. Completed, and now we can verify from our configuration tab. Okay, so we're gonna look our LTAP integration. Okay, everything comes back. 636 SSL connect, yes. And also we can now quickly verify our vault. Walk into our vault to take a look. Tools, admission tools, directory mapping. So we did those four, but automatically they were groups as well. So there's a file mapping, perfect. Um, one more thing to verify is sign out. We can using LDAP authentication to log in. It's test one. Our LDAP group 
users test one, which is working perfectly. Uh, I want to mention one more thing here. During the troubleshooting, I used the LDAP tool, which is uh, located on uh, our DC share folder, C drive, Windows, distance 32. So you're going to run a tool called LDP.exe, which can help you to do verification. You can connect it here. And also you can find out, find the user here, which it helped me troubleshooting the traffic. Let's uh, type uh, user name, password, administrator, password in, and you should be see it's connected and it's using SSL cipher strength is 128 bit SSL. Basically that's all troubleshooting and the configuration LDAP over SSL. Um, hopefully it's helpful to you. Thank you for watching.